I'm at Entertainment City's TIFF headquarters at the Ritz-Carlton in downtown Toronto, and last night's red carpet, all about a musical icon. Keith Richards of the Rolling Stones debuted his new doc, and our Terry Hart caught up with him. Thanks very much, Adam. Yes, that is Mr. Keith Richards walking the red carpet here at TIFF to talk about his new rock doc, Under the Influence. But what's on everybody's mind? The Stones heading back to the studio. The Stones suddenly go into hibernation. I was itching to get back in the studio and cut a couple of tracks. 20 years since your last solo record, and we get to follow you in Under the Influence. Why did you want to sign up for this? Uh, I just wanted to make a record. Life's a funny thing, you know. Nobody wants to get old, but they don't want to die young either. Hey, Toronto's always been a good town for me, and we've always, I mean, we have the Stones. We myself have a long relationship with this town. We used to rehearse here. We did hear the Stones are back in studio. What can you tell us? Uh, well, they're not there yet, but they're on their way. That's all I can tell you. Rock and roll has got nothing on those guys. Tiff is slowly coming to a close. Tomorrow night, we'll be back at Roy Thompson Hall for the closing night film, Mr. Wright. Be sure to tune in Monday morning for my interviews with Anna Kendrick and Sam Rockwell. Back to you, Adam. Thanks, Terry. Also on the red carpet last night was Vancouver's Joshua Jackson. Now, he was here supporting his longtime girlfriend, Diane Kruger, who had the North American debut of her film, Disorder. I'm really excited. It's kind of sad because he's in the movie that premiered last night, so he, he missed his own premiere. But, you know, I'll take what I can get. I've never been to a film festival even really before, so it's exciting. And very impressed. Very impressed. From the red carpet to the party scene, Entertainment City is up all night for TIFF at celebrations like this bash for the steps. There are no don'ts at TIFF. There's only do's. Just have as much fun as you can. The star of Eye in the Sky, Helen Mirren, out for some fun after her film's world premiere. Well, I hope you can relax. Are we going to see you doing a few shots tonight? Uh, I expect so. You expect so. <laughs> Mirren also making an appearance at the Artists for Peace and Justice party. And the Festival Music House at Adelaide Hall is TIFF's soundtrack. It's a really diverse lineup. Uh, we have established acts like Bare Naked Ladies to buzzy new acts uh, like Half Moon Run. It made its Canadian premiere at TIFF, and now Johnny Depp's Black Mass is opening nationwide today. Our Tanya Kim caught up with the cast to talk about Johnny's terrifying transformation into gangster Whitey Bulger. If nobody sees it. Nothing. Jimmy, he's six. What was your first um, thought when you saw Johnny as Jimmy? To see him, it was brilliant. It's sort of arresting. You open the door, and that's what you come face to face with, and it's scary. I really think that's the best thing to be telling you, kid. Yeah. At a TIFF news conference for the film, Depp opened up about the role. When you're playing someone, you know, who. who either existed or exists, there's a tremendous amount of responsibility. No matter whether they're deemed good or bad or whatever, you also have a responsibility to history and truth. In TV news, Megan Fox is joining City's new girl, and this weekend, Empire takes over FX. We're going to have a season one marathon both Saturday and Sunday. Tweet us which episode's your favorite at NCity, and use that hashtag, NCityFirst.